Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a beautiful 3D container chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful 3D container chart to show the quarterly service level. So here you can see we have four quarters and the service level for each quarter and we are displaying in these containers. Container field percentage is showing the service level percentage. So here you can see I have used the rent between formula but you can put your actual number here for the service level. If I will recalculate the sheet then here you can see the chart is getting changed according to the number of the quarter. I have created this chart in this lender view as well as I have created this box view also. So I will explain you both the view in this chart. So please watch this video till the end. So let's start without delay. We will copy this data and press Ctrl N. And let's paste this data here on this book too. So let's copy and paste a special value of this rent between formula. Now we will take few support columns here. The first column will be blank area. Then we will take the lower gap and then upper gap. And then we will take the middle line one and middle line two. So these are the middle lines which we have used here. These two and these two here. So let's take here middle line one and same here middle line two. Alright, for the blank area we will put the formula equal to 1 minus this value which is 100% minus this value that will be our blank or transparent area. Lower cap wherein we will show our data level like we have displayed here. So we will take this around 20%. You can change it as per your requirement but for now I am taking it 20%. On the upper cap, we will show this label like this is quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3. Okay, so let's take it approx 15% or you can take it 20%. The middle line 1, let's take here 5% and middle line 2, let's take 2 or 3%. So let's take 2%. We can change it later on also if required. So we have taken these 5 support columns. Alright. Now we will select this range, we will go to the insert and then we will go to the charts. Here in the 3D column chart, we will take this chart. Just click here on this 3D column chart. So now this chart has been created. First of all, let me make it slightly bigger. You can go to the chart design and click on switch row column. Or you can right click, go to the select data and you can click here on switch row column. Just click here, click on OK. Now our chart will look like this. Now, if you will see in the legend, we have middle line 1 and middle line 2 once only, but we need it twice because these two middle line we will show on the top as well as on the bottom. So what we can do, let's select these two middle line 1 and middle line 2 range and copy this, press Ctrl C. Now click on the chart and paste that value here, press Ctrl B. Automatically you can see here middle line 1 and middle line 2 is available. So basically we have taken this reference twice. Alright, now let's go to the this chart element button and here remove the axis, chart title, grid lines. Let's keep the legion for now. Alright. Now first right click on this box and go to the format data series. Here the gap bit let's take around 80% and then select here in the column shape let's select this cylinder. Alright let's close this. Now right click again go to the 3D rotation. Here in the 3D rotation the X rotation let's change this as 0. By rotation let it be 15 Let's make slightly smaller. Right click go to the format data series. We will change the gap bit little bit more. Now right click here go to the select data and we will change the position here. So at bottom we will take the upper cap and on the top we will take the lower cap. So let's move this lower cap first. Then we will take the middle line 1 
after the lower cap then we will take middle line 2 also this one so move this here then we will take the service label then we will take the blank and from this middle line 2 then middle line 1 and in the last upper cap okay so just keep in mind the sequence should be same in this form first lower cap middle line 1 middle line 2 service label blank and then middle line 2 middle line 1 and the upper cap and let's click on ok all right now just click here on the bottom and go to the format and just fill here this white color let's select this chart right click go to the format chart area uh, go to the fill and gradient fill here let's go to the preset gradients and let's select one gradient from here let's take this one which is already there all right now our chart will look more visible similarly select the this upper cap also and just click here all right okay now we will select this service label so let's select this service label this one right click go to the format data points let's select here linear in place of radial we will keep here only two stops so let's remove this middle stop and we have only two stops now the first stop color we will take this dark red the second stop color we will take this orange accent too so friends keep in mind i have just selected only one this piece of column i will show you how you can select only one once again but before that let's change the direction here and let's take this direction linear right all right so we have this one now select this middle line one when you click on this middle line one all middle line one will be selected for all the columns if you will click again then only this one is selected okay so that is how you can select only one piece of column here so let's click on gradient automatically it will show the recent gradient which we have used now let's come to the middle line one again which is available at bottom you can see here in the selection also whether we are selecting correct or not if i will click here it will select middle line one and click again it will select only this one and gradient fill so automatically it will take the recent gradient which we have used now we have middle line two also and that is this small line for some time you can change the value let's take 10 percent here so that you can select easily so this is middle line 2 let's select this one you can see here middle line 2 is selected and let's fill here white color solid white so solid fill and let's take the white color this one similarly here also this green line is double click here and solid fill the white color now you can change the value as two percent so it will look like this or three percent we are formatting only first column so now select this blank area you can see here in the selection double click here go to the fill and let's take the solid fill and let's take this color orange accent 2 and put here approx 80 or 85 percent transparency so it will look like this our first column is formatted now we will repeat this activity with the other columns also how we will do that let's select this service level area go to the fill and line let's take the gradient fill it will select the recent gradient which we have used in the first column just change the colors here this time we will take the blue theme so let's take the first stop color this one second stop color this one all right same thing we will apply for the middle line one also for this middle line one and take the gradient fill and this middle line one also and take the gradient fill all right now let's select the middle line two here you can fill the solid fill for all the middle line two now select this blank area for the second column just click again and let's take the solid fill and this time we will take this light blue color here and take the 85 percent transparency okay so this column is also ready now we will repeat the same thing but this time in the third column i will take some other theme let's say yellow theme
all right so our chart is ready now we can remove these legend from here now you can change the background as no fill and shape outline as no outline now select this range and here you can take some gray color like this and same color you can fill here also so just fill this color so that our chart will be visible properly now select the bottom base or lower cap go to the format and go to the shape effects shadow and let's take this shadow which is offset center now it will look more 3d we will add the data labels now select the lower cap this one right click add data label so data labels are available here right click go to the format data labels go to the value from cells in the format data labels and we will select this range which is service label range click on ok now again i will go to the format data label and here i will uncheck value and solid lines and just close this window now I have selected data labels and I'll go to the home, change the font as Arial Rounded Empty Bold. Make it slightly bigger so that it will be visible properly. Alright. Now we will fill here the theme color. So this is the red theme. We can take this color here or you can take this dark red color and you can take here this blue color. Let's take this one and here you can take this yellow color here you can take this green color all right or let's take some darker green this one. here also let's take this darker similarly we can add here quarter name which quarter is this so select the upper cap right click add data labels data labels are available here right click go to the format data label and we will show here category names just check this and uncheck the value and show later so it is showing the category as quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. Just select this, change the font as Arial Rounded Empty Bold and make it slightly bigger. Now select the first font only, double click here to select that. Let's take here color as this dark red. Here we will take the this dark blue. Here we will take this, this color and here we will take the green. This one. All right. So now our chart is ready. You can go to the view and remove the grid lines from here, headings from here, and you can fill the same color here also, the background color, this one. Now, if I will put the rand between formula here, let's show the rand between 5 to 95. And just close the bracket percentage. So randomly, it will show the value of 5 to 95 percent. All right, friends. Quickly I will show you how you can create the box view. So let's copy this chart, go to the new sheet, go to the view and remove the grid lines from here and paste that chart here. Let's keep this chart here. Right click, go to the format data series. Here we will select the box. Your chart will look like this. Now right click, go to the 3D rotation. In place of 0, let's take here 15 degree. And by rotation is already 15 degree. So let's keep it as it is. Automatically, it will be converted to the box. If you want to fill some background color to the chart, you can fill on the seat or you can fill in the chart also. So I'll show you how you can quickly fill it. Right click, go to the format chart area. Here you can take the gradient fill and from here you can choose any gradient fill. Let's take this one or let's take this one, whatever you want. So let's keep this one. All right, then our chart will look like this. So friends, that is how you can create this beautiful 3D chart. You can use this in your report or in your dashboard. It can make your dashboard more attractive. I hope you have enjoyed this video, friends. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.